Hello everyone, so today we're going to discuss on how to write expressions with rational exponents to radicals and vice versa. So, the symbol, the nth root of a raised to the m power is what we call radical. Okay, so this is a radical. Okay. So, a radical or a radical expression is an expression containing the radical symbol, this one, or the radical sign. So, this symbol is what we call a radical sign or a radical symbol. Then, the number inside the radical sign is what we call the radicand. So, A here is what we call the radicand. This is the number... Or expression inside the radical sign or symbol and M is the exponent of the radical Then, we also have the index, which is represented or denoted by N. This is the index or order, which indicates the degree of the radical, such as square root we also have the cube root then we also have the fourth root and then the nth root okay so let us now write expressions with rational exponents to radicals and vice versa so these expressions with rational exponents are what we call in exponential forms And this radical is what we call in radical form. Okay, so let's start with our example number one. Let's say we have, in radical form, we have square root of x. Okay, so if we're going to write that into exponential form, so from the word exponent, okay, so in exponential form, so, we're going to copy the radicand, which is x. Then, we all know that the exponent of x is 1, right? So, we're going to write here 1, the exponent of the radicand. And then, over, what is the index here? Now, notice that in square root, uh, square root of x, there is no index, right? So, if that is the case, meaning to say the index here is 2. Okay, so over 2. So you're going to make it as the denominator of the rational exponent. Okay, next, number 2. Let's say we have cube root of AB. Okay, so if we're going to write that into exponential form, you're going to get the radicand. Okay, so we have a, b. Then, enclose that in a parenthesis because there are two variables. And then, the exponent here is 1, right? So, here, that is 1. If there is no exponent, then understood that that is 1. Then, over the index here is 3. Okay, so that's the answer. Okay, number three, let's say we have, in exponential form, we have 6x squared raised to one-third. So, here, the base is, in exponential form, the base is 6x squared, the exponent is one-third. So, what are you going to do is, you're going to look at the exponent, um, what is the denominator of the exponent, which is 
of the rational exponent, so that is 3, right? So, if you're going to write that into radical form, it should be the cube root of, okay? Then, you're going to write now the, um, you're going to get the base and then make it as the radicand. So, we have 6x squared, okay? So, that's it. Next, number 4. Let's say we have 2 over x raised to the 5th power raised to 1 half. So, again, you're going to look at the rational exponent. The denominator is 2. So, you will just write here the square root. Okay? You're not going to write anything on the index because understood that the index is 2. Then, you will just write the base as the radicand. So, we have 2 over x raised to the 5th power. So, that's it. Number 5. Let's say we have 2r cubed s squared raised to 1 half. Okay. So, in radical form, this is equal to the square root of 2, this one, the base. You're going to make it as the radicand. We have 2r cubed s squared. Okay. So, this is the radical form of 2r cubed s squared. So, no need to write here 2 as the index 2 because that's understood that the index here is 2. Okay. Next, number 6. Let's say we have. The fifth root of x squared, y cubed, z squared. Okay, in exponential form, this is very easy. You will just copy this one, the radicand. We have x squared, y cubed, z squared. Then raise it to, as you can see, the exponent here is 1, right? So, raise it to 1 over the index 5. Okay, so this is the answer for number 6. Next, for number 7, let's say we have negative 5 times 2x over y squared raised to 1 half. Okay, so notice that the rational exponent is 1 half, and then its base is 2x over y squared. So, in radical form, this is square root of, you will just copy this, we have 2x over y squared, then how about negative 5? So, you're going to write it outside the radical symbol, because here, the exponent of 5 is 1, okay? So, this is the answer. Next, for number 8. Let's say, for example, we have x squared, y raised to negative 2 over 7. So, notice that the exponent of x variable is 2, which we cannot transform it to radical because uh, those expressions with rational, expre with rational exponents can be transform to radical so here what are you going to do is you will just write this into an expression with positive exponent so we have x squared then y since that the exponent is negative 2 over 7 so you're going to multiply it by 1 over y raised to positive 2 over 7 okay so this is now equals to x squared over y raised to 2 over 7. Okay. Now, in radical form, this is equal to x squared over this one, the seventh root of y raised to the second power, the numerator. Okay? So, this is the answer for number 8. 
Next number nine. So number nine. Let's say we have negative three p cube raised to negative two over five. So here again, we're going to write this into uh, an expression with positive exponent. So this is equal to. Since that this is negative, automatically you write 1 as a numerator over um, 3p cubed raised to positive 2 over 5. Now, negative sign, you put it here in the middle. So, in the middle of the rational fractional bar. So, in radical form, this is equal to 1 over or negative 1 over the fifth root of this one, the fifth root of 3p cube raised to the second power. Now, you can write this one, you can write this inside the radicand or you can write it like this. Okay? So, any of the two. So, this is the radical form of negative 3p p cube raised to negative 2 over 5. So, number 10, let's say we have 2a cube over 3b squared raised to negative 3 over 5. Now, in my, in my previous videos about negative exponents, I told you that if we have negative exponents and then if the base is a fraction what are you going to do is you will just change it get the reciprocal of that so this is equal to 3b squared over 2a cube right then raised to positive 3 over 5 okay next in radical form this is now equals to okay the fifth root of 3b squared over 2a cubed. Okay, it's up to you where to write the exponent 3. Inside this one or, or like this. The fifth root of 3b squared over 2a cubed raised to the third power. So, any of the two. Okay. So... That's it for today about writing expressions with rational exponents to radicals and vice versa. From exponential form to radical form or from radical form to exponential form. Now, don't forget to like, comment, share it with your classmates, subscribe, and then click the notification button for more videos and updates. Thank you!